and this is this is a way of developing like a a bus channel for um, your reverbs and delays within the same track um, without having to run you know like fifteen bus channels and group them all together because that's silly. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? It's Art Supplies and I've got a treat for you. Um, it's a free Ableton rack that I have built specifically um, to use in my own projects um, and I decided to give it out for free because it's such a handy little tool to be able to drag onto something um, and have everything ready to go. It helps the workflow and just to put on something uh, and then you can go from there. Now, uh, this is all using Ableton stock plugins. Um, so you should be able to just drag and drop and everything will be there for you. Um, that's not to say that you can't swap things out. So I know that a lot of people like to use different reverb plugins or um, you know external delays, these kinds of things. So feel free to swap out some of the plugins um, the Ableton stock ones for your own ones that you like to use. And then you can save it as your own little rack in there as well that you can just drag in and use um, on stuff. Now, uh, let's jump straight into the project and I'll show you um, where it is. So we'll jump in verb delay. So let's just put a um, new track on. Right, so here it is. The Art Supplies Verb Delay Chain. So I have three different um, sections here. The first one is going to be the dry signal. So the dry signal is going to come directly through here. We'll have no effects um, on this part of the, the rack. So that's going to allow the dry signal to come straight through. No, um, nothing on top of that. Now, the second one, we're going to split it again and have another signal running through the same thing um, of the reverb. So if we click on the reverb, I've got the Ableton stock reverb in here um, set. Uh, you can see that it's 100% to the wet. That means that it is only going to be the reverb signal that comes through this um, particular channel that we've created over here. And we can adjust the gain here. So I've pulled the reverb down 4 dB from the dry signal so it sits behind it. Um, I mean, that's just a standard. You can play around with that. That's the idea. Uh, you can play around with all the reverb settings and then this uh, sidechain is set up to sidechain back the signal um, and have the reverb duck around the dry signal. So what you would do is uh, select in here and then select number two audio in this case and the signal from number two audio is going to send back through here and you're going to see the signal pop up and the reverb is going to duck away when the dry signal pops through and then fill the space around it, which is um, a really helpful technique. Um, you kind of should be doing it already. And this is this is a way of developing like a, a bus channel for um, your reverbs and delays within the same track um, without having to run, you know, like 15 bus channels and group them all together because that's silly. So let's go and have a look at delay. Um, same thing, I've got a ping pong delay on this one. Um, I probably should put in a simple delay as well, but um, you guys can change that. I like the ping pong, that's what I use. Then again, a side chain compressor back to the original signal. You can see that I've got the decibels right down, minus 24 for the delay, because this one, um, this particular one I use for things like vocals and um, leads and things, little plucks, because they've got that really distant delay that you can't really hear, but it still gives it some width and some space. Um, I will often change this for a quick slap delay, you just shorten the, the feedback and um, just put it you know, nice and short so it is really slappy, and then you can sit it a little bit higher up behind the dry signal. But that's it. It's so easy, so super simple, and um, I'm sure you guys will be well and truly able to, to use it on your projects. So jump in, use this, grab it. The link is down below in the description. Um, I'll link it for you. Go and grab it and um, happy producing because I'm sure you can come up with some amazing ideas uh, when the workflow is just nice and quick. So drop a like. Uh, let me know how you found it. Let me know if you're going to grab it and if you found it helpful. If you've got your own rack, if you've got some other inclusions, something that I reckon, that uh, something you reckon I should put in my thing, let me know. We're all here to learn. So uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'm Art Supplies and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.